Hi there though, welcome to my channel. This is about um, how this person is potentially feeling about you Virgo and about your current situation um, together. So look, um, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you're dealing with a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, this reading could be applicable. Um, let's have a look at the theme as to how this person is feeling. These will be general messages, so please keep that in mind. Okay, I feel like this card is speaking to me, Virgo. Okay, full moon in Aquarius, show the world the real you. This is very powerful, okay? You've got someone that's really blossoming um, around you, so I absolutely love this. It is about blossoming, um, self-empowerment. It is about opening up um, a genuine quality. So I feel like this person is opening up. Now, Aquarius is the opposite of clingy, okay? Um, and when this card comes up, it can be a message. The fact that it's a full moon can in symbolize letting go or having a t a d detachments in some way. But that's because this person is growing. Okay, they're growing as a person. Okay, they're growing in their emotions, self identity. They're growing as a partner, um, and this is why you they might feel a little bit self centered even. Okay, during this time. Um, it, Aquarius is an exciting energy. Full moons can symbolize um, a culmination point, an ending, a conclusion, um, or a pivotal point, a turning point um, for this person. So I, I think, Virgo, what I'm seeing here, um, this person is feeling like they're growing, they're changing. So you might sense a change in this person. Aquarian energy is very intelligent. It's very self-aware. Um, so I feel like this person is... Um, beginning to understand their characteristics how they're coming across as a partner it's almost like epiphanies or realizations or aha moments that are happening around this person um i i feel like you you can't keep a close uh to this person on a on too close of a leash in june because they'll want to sprout they'll want to fly they'll want to try new things you need to let them fly okay you're going to need to let them um do that um, Virgo but what I'm seeing here is is that they'll appreciate your moral support they'll appreciate the encouragement they'll appreciate the feedback or the judgment and this is why they're with you Virgo because you are their anchor in that sense there's a sense of realism um, and understanding and so much attention that you can give to them and they'll absolutely absorb it and if you can pay attention to what they're going through right now um, if you can notice this compliment it address it or let them know that you're aware of these changes happening around them, I think that'll be very much, um, it'll be received and welcomed very, very well. Okay, is what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> Let's have a look what else comes up. Four of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Okay, definitely um, it's a time for themselves. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. The Four of Pentacles. Now, this could be a fellow Earth sign you might be dealing with, a Virgo. Taurus or a Capricorn the four of pentacles did I say four of swords I meant four of pentacles um the four of pentacles can be a card of um keeping our cards close to our chest it can be a card where we focus on our own ambitions personal goals this person I, I guess there might be a little bit of a disconnection happening here Virgo because they want to improve as a person okay but let's have a look at what the four of pentacles is guarding and it's guarding quite a bit of coins here okay so it's guarding something quite valuable so my understanding here is that, that this person appreciates how valuable you are because you're coming up as the four of pentacles here and you're coming up as someone that only invests in people that give them respect and honor and value and and dignity and dedication and what i'm sensing here is that this person understands the self-respect you have for yourself and as a result they're as a result they're holding you close to them so i feel like the reason this person is bloss this person is blossoming it's because they've found some sort of inspiration in you virgo okay but they're also holding you close here so they haven't forgotten about you even if you feel like this person is too busy doing their own thing or you know things are going really well for themselves and 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 they're concentrating on self-improvement here you must remember that in june you've had something to do with this virgo you've inspired them in some way um either this is maybe a journey you've taken yourself or maybe 
you know, you, you've been a model for this behavior. And as a result, they're taking that because they value, they genuinely value what you have here and they want to hold it close. They want to hold on to what you have. So that's very nice here. But of course, it can be closed off behavior here. So don't expect this person to be an open book in June is what I'm saying here, Virgo. Um, the Nine of Wands could be a fire sign, an Aries, Sag or Leo coming through. The Nine of Wands is capricious energy. Okay, Nine of Wands, we don't let anyone in with the Nine of Wands. We're very protective over our endeavors or our emotions. We possibly have our guard up. And this is what I meant when I said a little bit of detachment here, because you might not feel you're as connected to this person. But the self journey that they're going on is something very important to them. Okay, Aquarian energy can be a little bit self-centered okay let's look into let's analyze the sort of energy as much as they're a beautiful sign that they have a lot of friends they're well connected they're well informed they're articulated they're bright they're chirpy and this is amazing qualities but they're also very self they can be quite self-centered okay they're all about the self they're all about self-empowerment you know uh, welcoming in that energy um and they're, they're the water bearer, okay? They know how to cleanse and improve on themselves and reinvent themselves. And I think this is what's, what's happening here. So there might be someone here around you that's feeling guarded over what's happening within, okay? So what I'm saying is don't expect them to reveal too much because I don't think they will. They might keep their cards close to their chest. They still value you. They still value what you have. They might even be protective or jealous over it, maybe, with the Nine of Wands. But you need to trust that this is a self-journey they're going on, and they might need space to do that, okay? Um, full moon, it's a culmination point. Um, but, but I think it'll be over, okay, by the time um, June wraps up here. Page of Pentacles could be an Earth sign coming through again, or this could be you. Uh, page of Pentacles, there's a very beautiful fixation here with the Page of Pentacles. There's nothing distracting him, okay? I'm seeing that there might be, there could be someone you work with, okay, because of the Pentacles cards. It might be money or career. There might be someone you work with, okay, or there might be someone that's very fixated on you, uh, that's, that's watching you from a distance, Virgo, okay? They're very attracted, okay? I'm seeing a very strong attraction with the Page of Pentacles. It might still be in early stages here for some of you um, Virgos watching, and that's okay. But I do see that this person is extremely interested. But let's look a little bit um, more into the Page of Pentacles. There's nothing else that distracts his gaze or allows him to move his gaze away from the Pentacle here. And in one way, I think this is a person that's very focused on you showing you the real them you know coming out into the spotlight there's many famous aquarians because they, they've got a lot of confidence and self-esteem and like i said they're constantly shedding their own layers and reinventing themselves and this is all very nice um and it could be that this person is determined determined here to have no distractions and have full and complete focus on you or have full and complete focus on themselves, on making them the best version of themselves. They want you a part of this, but I can see that the the, the focus that they're coming in with, with which Aquarians can be very focused emotionally, the focus that they're coming in with. Full moon, full moon is very strong energy. Okay, it's a very powerful energy. Um, there's so much energy and drive and time and effort that's being put into self-improvement for them right now that they won't have much things distracting them. And again, what I'm seeing, the Six of Swords, detachment, um, a bit of distance that might be created between the two of you whilst this person is changing or growing or welcoming in, cleansing the water bearer, cleansing, reinventing themselves, growing as a person, okay? And this is what needs to happen. There could be distance created, especially if you are dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This could also be mental communication. Okay, so how often the two of you speak or connect, there might be some change to that. Okay, the notion of a journey is coming up here around this person. It could very much be a self journey. This could be a metaphor for self journey. You know, the ship um, 
moving away from emotional baggage or, or pain and coming into something more calm or serene it might be it might be that mental or spiritual inner journey that this person has to go through but there is someone around um that's feeling that you have either become distant to them or they have become distant to you in terms of talking communicating and connecting they're still focused but there's a part of them that feels there's a distance here or there's a part of them that feels they need to distance themselves while they show you the best side of them it's them putting their best foot forward but essentially it's for you virgo um, especially if you're dealing with a long distance person here that's that's further afield if there's geographical distance between the two of you or there has been for the last uh, maybe during the time of june or, or maybe in the recent past as well this person is feeling if, if it's at a long distance thing this person is feeling that they can't fully reveal themselves okay they're not standoffish but they're guarded strong guarded energy coming over here they're guarded to show the real you and in fact for some of you this person has turned away from opening up completely from you virgo and i i don't know if this is something directly to do with you i think it might be a self journey that they need to go on it might be something to do with confidence self-esteem you know they might need to release you know release the past the full moon is, is all about endings they might uh, or things coming to a culmination point they need to reach a point internally where they feel confident to release the past cleanse the past you know get everything out there in the open and there's the you know they are the water bearer that's what's coming up here but what i love is that they're coming into calmer waters here so I think this is an improvement. I am seeing an improvement in this person's qualities or in their improvement of your connection or your relationship. The focus is there, Virgo. The focus is, the focus is absolutely there. Um, but for some of you, I want to mention, for some of you, there will be someone detaching, okay? Not for all of you. But for some, the full moon, the ending with the Six of Swords, it can speak of a physical journey. Now, this could mean that this person wants space. This could mean that this person needs to travel for work or leisure purposes and you'll feel a disconnection in communication. There could be someone that's feeling like they need time away or they need to embark on a different journey here. You might see that, okay? There might be someone that's wanting to leave altogether, wanting to leave your connection. And that is the real them. So when you see them, the way they walk away or how they walk away or how they initiate a break or time apart could be because they want to walk away entirely. They want to disconnect entirely. Why? Maybe they're not ready. Or the real them, you're actually seeing the real part of them, which is this right here definitely not ready this person is this one not so much so it could be two different people here or it could be dribs and drabs of the one person and their different energies but nonetheless i hope this reading has been insightful for you virgo just want to thank you for watching